What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parenting Training. So before the baby came, we bought a stroller and a car seat combo. At the time, we didn't know any better. It turns out that particular stroller is not meant for running. Uh, after the baby came, obviously we didn't have time to go run. Now that the baby will always like to go out, and I want to go back onto the uh, running routine, we have purchased three different type of jogging strollers. On today's video, I'm going to talk about the first one, Bob Gear Revolution Flex 3.0 Stroller. This one did not come cheap, it cost about $499.99 on Amazon. I'll put the product information down in the description below so you can go check it out. So the unboxing is very simple. Once you open it up, you have the stroller that's been folded up and three wheels. One smaller one uh, for the front and two bigger ones for the back. Now, in order for you to really uh, open this stroller up, it's best for you to put the wheels onto the stroller before you uh, unpack it. So just FYI, it does come with a manual instruction. If you want to read more, you should definitely look into it. For the front wheel, the smaller one, it does come with an Allen key and the screw and the nut. So make sure that you put it on there correctly. For that Allen key, I would suggest you to put it inside the stroller's pouch. So that way, in case there's something wrong with the front, when the front wheel comes off, you have an Allen key that will just uh, ready for you to, to put the wheels back on. The rest is pretty simple. The back wheel, you just kind of push it in. You will hear a clicking sound and it will hold in place. So all three wheels, they require 30 PSI of air. If you have a gauge, that will be easier for you to monitor whether or not you reach the 30 PSI. And if you don't, just make sure that the tire is firm and you should be good to go. At the back, there is a parking brake. If you're not moving, then you should always put the parking brake on. To unpark, use your feet to push the parking brake up. Now for the handlebar, uh, it cannot extend in or out. You can only adjust the height to lower or raise it. That's the only thing you can do with the handlebar. Now, to adjust the handlebar, there are two tabs in the inside of the bar. You just have to press in on the same time to push either up or down to adjust the bar's height, uh, as you can see here. What I would suggest you to do is if you are in the jogging mode, then you should raise the handlebar all the way to the top. So that way your body is leaning forward as you are jogging. Now, if you're in the walking mode, then you should definitely lower the handlebar all the way to the bottom. So that way your arms are resting on the handlebar. All right, so to fold up the stroller, make sure that you put the car into parking mode. There are two folding release levers on the left and the right side. You have to squeeze them both at the same time and push them up. Once the top is down, use the red release handle up and the car will fold itself like so. Once the car is completely down, then there are two buckles. You can buckle them together to secure the car into the folding position. To unfold, you release the buckle that was securing the stroller and then you pull the red release handle all the way up until the bottom portion of the car snap into place and then you continue to unfold the top portion as well until the whole car is into a upright position. Now you can adjust the seat. So to bring the seat into upright position, grab the rings on either side of the recline button and pull the strap out to the side to raise the seat. And to release the seat, squeeze a recline button and pull the seat back down into the desired position. The way you put the baby into the stroller is very simple. Make sure that the stroller is in the park position and then you put the baby in. There are three straps, two shoulder straps and one buckle strap. The two shoulder strap, you can adjust the length. Unfortunately, the buckle strap on the bottom cannot be adjusted. Once you put the baby into it, make sure you buckle him up and you can pull the lap strap to make the strap even more secure. And then you can go into the back to adjust the sitting position. If you look at the front of the wheel, you will find a red knob. If the red knob is on the top right position, then the front wheel can be swirled left and right and rotate 360. That's in the walking mode. Once you put into the jogging mode, which is pull the red lever down, then rotate the front wheel 
forward until it's locked in position. Once that's in the jogging mode, the front wheel cannot be swirled left or right. And it's very important that you never run, jog, or walk fast with the stroller in the walking mode. Doing so could result in loss of control and serious injury. Just keep that in mind. So this stroller, you can change the alignment. Now the way that you change the alignment is first you have to empty out the entire stroller, nothing inside, and check for your tire pressure, make sure it's up to the 30 PSI. And set the stroller into the jogging mode. There's a silver button right above the front wheel. That's where you change the alignment if needed. Now what you do next is find a stretch of even ground that's at least 16 feet long. And what you do is you push the car forward and then let go to see whether or not your car is going straight or veer to the left or veer to the right. Now if your car is pulled to the left, turn the silver knob counterclockwise up to one half turn. If your car is veered to the right, then you turn clockwise. What I would suggest you to do is to turn a little bit at a time until your car is going straight. This stroller also has shock setting. So for softer shock, is for children that's under 40 pounds. For the firmer shock, will be from 41 pounds to 75 pounds. When you're adjusting the shock, make sure the baby is not inside the stroller. Right now, the shock is in the softer setting. To change to a firmer setting, hold the leg and you pull the knob back to change to a firmer setting. Make sure when you adjust, you adjust both sides to the same setting. So some of the things I really like about this stroller is one, it has a lot of storage units. Now for one, it has a canopy storage pocket. It can hold the Allen key for the front wheel and your cell phone. So it's very convenient. And it also has seat back storage pockets on the lower back of the car seat. Not only that, it also has seat storage pocket in the front where the baby is. Uh, so you can put water bottle or milk bottle in it for the baby. Now with all that, it also has a low boy cargo basket on the bottom of the stroller to hold even more stuff. So yeah, uh, this, this thing, it doesn't lack in terms of storage area. All right, so we wanted to test out this stroller because of its uh, jogging functionality. For this bob gear, the jogging is kind of hit and miss. When I put this stroller in the jogging mode, the front end plants really well onto the ground. Now that's great when you are jogging in a straight line, but when you are trying to turn while jogging, this stroller becomes pretty useless. Because this stroller needs the front end to turn. Now if you're in the jogging position, the front end is locked. It cannot swirl left or right. So when you're trying to turn, the way I turn when I'm jogging is to I have to make the front end lift up. If you wanted to do that, I need to push down the handlebar in order to have the front end lift up. So that's the only way I can turn the stroller while I'm jogging. You should only run in the jogging mode. If you put in the walking mode, it becomes very unstable at times when you are trying to walk really fast. So to me, this stroller is kind of weird. It's great when you're jogging in the straight line, but you cannot turn. When you change to the walking mode, you can turn but it's unstable when you are jogging. Now we still have two other strollers to test out. So hopefully the other two will adjust the problem about turning. But other than that, this stroller is really great. If you are just want to have a something that holds a lot of storage and be able to travel off road and run in a straight line. In the near future, we'll post the other two videos regarding the other two strollers we got. And until then, if you have any questions, comment down below. See you next time. Bye.